All right, welcome back. It is 840. The Motown Mike Spoken Word uh, Competition is a series that invites poets in our local communities to perform original pieces. And one of the competition days is today. Joining us this morning is Raina Baker. She is the executive assistant and program director at the Motown Museum, along with Tamira Renee. She's the 2015 winner of the competition. Ladies, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank you. Tell me about the competition. What, what exactly is it? Who are you looking for? So Motel Mike, the spoken word, as you said, is a poetry competition and open mic series. So every Friday in April, okay. um, we host the competition and open mic in the Hitsville Gallery. And it's really a nod to the Black Forum label, which is Motown's spoken word arm, and how we have recordings of Stokely Carmichael, Dr. King, The Last Poet. So this is a continuation of that legacy, and we invite contemporary artists to share original pieces. So you mentioned today is one of the days of the competition. You said this is every weekend through April? Every Friday. So every this Friday. is our second. We have two more. Two so more. what was it like? I mean, you're saying, what are you, 17, 18? 28. 28? <laughs> yes. You look very good, very Thank good. You. Um, what was it like? I mean, I would imagine you are poetic, but to get out there and put your art on your sleeve and um, it. it was really overwhelming, but it was such, such great energy from all the poets in the Motown family. They're just so welcoming and so encouraging to just, you know, come out, do your best and, and use your voice. That was great. What would you say to someone who's thinking about it? Because we all have a song in our heart, a poem in our heart, but we may not always get it out there. What would you say to someone watching? Right um, now? The first thing to do is just do it. You know, don't don't give yourself any limits. Just it's the first step is just getting out there to do it because everyone should use their voice. And I, I'm, I'm all for that. Now, were you experienced or were you more on the novice side? Um, a little experience. I have been doing it for over 10 years with different organizations, so I do have a little bit more experience than you know the, the average person that might come to an open mic for the first time. And that was my next question for you is, who are you looking for? Are you looking for novices or people who are already solid? Both. Um, we want to use the Hitsville Gallery as a place to inspire, so maybe you didn't know you were a writer or a poet, and I'm hoping that our visitors will um, be sparked in that way and gain some inspiration. But if you've been doing poetry for 10 years, you're a veteran, you're also invited to come because there's great synergy and just artists connecting. Well, Tamara is a poet and she knows it. And uh, <laughs> give us a small taste. Um, this is actually the uh, poem that I won last year's competition with. I've got soul. I've got so much so that the words I speak have no choice but to manifest a melodic tone. Soul shooting through my veins and bursting through my modal zones. And yes, I said modosomes. Translation, modosome, a linear strand of DNA bonded in harmony through the Motown sound, which means that I am ever rhythmic empire world renowned, so no matter how many blurred lines you try to create, our sound can't be replicated, it's far too compound. I'm from the city that showed you how. I'm from the city that gave you the inspiration to produce the sounds you have now. So you weren't dancing to a new beat or seeing visions of ribbons in the sky until we told you, and you weren't moonwalking until we televised its debut. So my sounds produce supreme miracles that bring forth temptations to jack sons from mothers, and I'm placing spinners on melodies, advocating unison of our brothers and I destroy color lines while I got you hearing symphonies. You singing the same old song with different meanings proclaiming musical epiphanies and I'm removing superstitions that makes you wonder why we be original and I got a pointer erasing balls of confusion that's just subliminal because my modal zones be creating cadences that articulate the real thing placing you on cloud nine to musical marvels never seen. Modal zones that created a musical existence that's built its resistance to culture vultures robbing sons of melodies. Motown bringing that undisputed truth to soul signs have delivered to our memories. Bam! Check that out. <laughs> what you know about that? Yeah. All right, so we got uh, Chris Edwards. That's a tough act to follow, Chris. He's going to have your forecast coming up in just a little bit, and we'll try to get some uh, information for this on our website, wxyz.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.